Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. And today I am so, so excited to share with you everything that I got at the Goodwill outlet, AKA the bins in just under two hours. All right, so I live in the Columbus, Ohio area and I am fortunate enough to have a Goodwill outlet or bins about half an hour from my house. But if you have been here for a while, you're probably like, Wait, but you like never talk about the bins. You never go to the bins. You never have bins hauls. And I think I have in the last like two and a half years that I have been dabbling in reselling. I think I've only been three times, which some of you that live here locally, you might go a lot. You might go several times a week or at least weekly, monthly, whatever. But I really haven't gone very often because it's just not my kind of environment. I don't really love like digging through the bins. It's not really like friendly. At some of the other thrift stores around here, people will chat with you. They're kind of singing to the music. It's just like a cushier environment. And I just kind of prefer that. I like, you know, lackadaisically flipping through the racks. And yeah, the bins is kind of fast paced. But all that to say, the bins is absolutely a wonderful place to shop. If you want to get a lot of items a lot of times for not very much money and although you might be finding random socks and underwear you also could be finding designer and it doesn't matter what the brand is everything is by the pound and i'm not sure exactly what the prices are all across the united states but from just the few resellers that i follow that do go to the bins I think my prices are pretty good here in Columbus. It's just $1.99 a pound. And I think some other locations are maybe up to $3 and over a pound. So it can definitely get pretty pricey if you are getting some heavier items. But I have made a commitment to start going to the bins about once a month just because it is such a great way to source as the thrift stores keep raising and raising their prices. And in just under two hours, my husband and I were able to find 35 items for $99.47, which is more than I thought it was going to be, to be honest, but I did get one item for myself that is unbelievable. I'm gonna save that for the end. It is so amazing. Ryan actually found it. I'm so stoked to keep it for myself. So that was a heavier item, so that did definitely rack the price up. But even with me spending about $100 for 35 items at the bins, my cost of goods is still only $2.85, which is much, much cheaper than when I shop at all the other thrift stores around here. But all right, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get into the items. I literally just went this morning, so I have not cleaned anything, processed, nothing like that. And I did do a mix of going through old bins as well as going through new bins. And I'm gonna be honest, this wasn't the best day. I wasn't finding a lot of great brands, but I did find a lot of cool, unique pieces that I think will still sell. I sell a lot of like funky vintage, I would say in my Poshmark, and I am gonna get my Depop going over the next two months as well. And a lot of this stuff is gonna go up on my Depop site. But I did hear a woman saying like, oh, it's not a good day at the bins to one of her friends. So yeah, I definitely think it was just not a great day for good brands. But this coat actually does seem to be a pretty good brand. I had never heard of it before. It is this brand called Lynx, and I just thought that it looks kind of high quality. It looked like a nice company. It says Lynx DC and Company, made in Vietnam. It's a size medium, and I just really, really liked this coat. Of course, it's very much like a fall winter piece, but I love this corduroy collar. Really nice olive green color and it is a pretty long line jacket and it is quite thick as well. Overall, it's in really great shape. I don't expect it to sell super quickly since it is <laughs> the middle of summer right now, but I think it will be worth it because comps look like they're around 40 to $50. I think bins hauls are so fun too because they're so random. Everything is so different. Here we have a vintage piece. This is from a brand called Club Fellow. I definitely don't care too much about the brand though. It's a size medium, 100% cotton, and it is this golf sweater. And I love <laughs> to sell these like men's fun, funky vintage golf sweaters. This one says, hit the range with a basket of golf balls. And I like the two colors, really nice blue and green. Definitely something that I will probably have my little brother model 
and this will for sure go on Depop as well as my Poshmark. But those kind of cool grandpa vintage sweaters can go, I would say, from anywhere like $35 to $50. Now on the other end of the spectrum, we've got this likely handmade like baby blanket. So, so cute. It's in really great condition. I didn't see anything wrong with it. And yeah, I just like had to save it. I am someone that really gets sucked into just wanting to save things from the landfill and the Goodwill outlet or the bins is literally the last stop before the landfill. And I think somebody can snatch this up. I'm happy to give it away for a good price and it can start a whole new life with a new little baby. These are some Fabletics joggers. Really nice blue, great condition. And these actually still have the tag inside, which is rare because it's like Lululemon. The tags are often gone. These are a size extra large. I'm pretty sure they're women's. I don't know, does Fabletics even make men's items? I think they do. So I think that these are women's, but I guess I'll have to double check that. But I mean, I love a good pair of joggers and Fabletics sells pretty well for me. And I do have one more piece in my bags from Fabletics. Okay, this is so cute. A little Calvin Klein snowsuit. It's a size three to six months and it's in perfect condition. Love it, love those blues. And when I picked this up, I was originally thinking that I would offer it to my brother and his wife because they had a brand new baby just about 10 days ago, but they're both taller people. So I have a feeling that by the time the baby would be able to wear a snowsuit, the baby would probably be too big because this is three to six months. Definitely don't do very well with kids, but if it's something like really unique or really substantial, I will go ahead and pick it up, especially at the bins where you're paying by the pound. All right, here we've got a real fuzzy Abercrombie and Fitch soft A and F collection sweater. It's a size small. And I'm trying not to really pick up mall brands like this anymore, but Abercrombie and Fitch has definitely had a comeback. Some of their stuff does very well. And I think this is a super cute and cozy and trendy type piece very very soft good vintage dark academia style here this is from chadwick's of boston it's a size 20w and these are wool pants and they've got that houndstooth print which i love and dark academia has been in for a while during the fall season and i don't think it's going anywhere these are in fantastic shape I absolutely love them. I feel like a lot of times I find this style, like this print of pants in that Alfred Dunner brand and they often have the elastic waist and they're real like comfy and stuff, but they're not super high quality. This is a high quality dark academia pair of pants. This one for sure will be going up on Depop. We'll see if the Depop girlies, as Ryan over at Jack and Ryan would say, We'll like this one. It's in really, really good shape. And I love that little rose there in the middle. And this is from a brand called Adana and it's a size 36B. And I feel like it's really in to style this like over a white Oxford shirt or something like that. Or of course you could wear it on its own and put like a blazer over it. I never see people dress like that in real life, here in Columbus at least but I feel like on Pinterest, I see a lot of people styling things like this and like on Instagram and places like that. So I was pretty happy to find this one. And again, so, so lightweight. Okay, so I did get one pair of shoes. They had a new shoe rotation while I was there and I missed like that initial go, but I went over like 10 seconds after people started looking through things and there weren't too many good brands left, but I did spot these. Yes, these are some Rothy's. The first time I have ever found Rothy's, kind of crazy that it was at the bins and at a slightly picked over bin, but there is a good reason why people probably did not pick these up. For one, the insole of the shoes, both of the shoes is missing. So that's not there. So that's one knock against it. And then this shoe is pretty good, like some general wear on both of them, but overall in good shape besides that it's missing the insole. But this one, it like, got ripped or cut or something. So it is pretty flawed there at the heel. So that's probably why people did not pick this up. But I just, I've never found Rothy's before and it's the bins, they're so lightweight. I decided to just go ahead and pick them up, throw them in my cart. 
I'll probably list them for $25 and just see what happens. See if they still do get a ton of interest. I know from other resellers on the internet that find them more regularly that they don't sell as well or as quickly as they used to. But I mean, again, I'm at the bins. I would not have paid four or five dollars for these. I just wanted to give them a try, but not good condition. And those are a size nine and a half. Pretty basic, but good materials. This is a Banana Republic sweater. It is really nice neutral gray and it is a good size in a size large. And I scoured this thing. I looked all over and I was not able to find any holes. I believe it is like 85% silk and then 15% cashmere. So this would be a really great comfortable basic for somebody. I like this one. I'll definitely put shacket in the title. This is Levi's. It's a size medium. So this is one you could wear buttoned up if you wanted. It's like a light jacket feel. All right, this one I did not look over that carefully. So there might be some flaws. I just decided to pick it up for myself for my home. I thought it was really cute and it is from Martha Stewart Home and I am not even 100% sure what this is supposed to be. I guess it's for your bed or you could kind of fold it up and use it as a blanket but it's quite big. But I like a lot of bohemian touches so I figured I would definitely find a use for this one. I was willing to get it at the bins. So let's see, I finally found the tag. So it just says 100% cotton, made in the USA. So I'll have to look a little bit more into this, but I'm sure this was decently expensive, whatever it's supposed to be. Sorry, we've got a growing pile over here. All right, this was actually the first thing that I found. I walked in and I saw it just sitting in a bin and I thought, well, at least I found one thing, so that's good. But this is from the brand Orvis, and you can see it's a great size. It's a size 14. It's got this adorable floral detail peeking out. It's like a denim material, shirt dress type thing. So, so cute for the fall. I absolutely love this. I wish it was in my size. Just that real nice light denim feel. And then you can fold up the sleeves and those flowers are popping out. This is one of my personal favorite finds that I wish I could keep for myself. Okay, I think Ryan only ended up finding two items and they were like the two best items of the day. And this is one of them. And then the other, I'll show you at the end. But this is an awesome, awesome Indians like varsity jacket. I'm excited to look more into this to try to figure out exactly when this would be from but absolutely vintage and this is a size extra large. So that is what that tag looks like. And aside from just like some fuzzies that I'm gonna have to just pick off or get my lint roller, it really is in fabulous shape. So, so cool. I didn't look at comps for a lot of these items to be honest, but I did quickly look this up and other jackets like this have sold for over a hundred dollars. So even if this doesn't sell for nearly that much, I don't really care about that. I just love that somebody will give this a new home. I think that these kinds of pieces are so, so cool. And I seem to only find really cool items like this at the bins. On the other hand, now we have a pretty basic button down short sleeve shirt. This is from the brand Untuck It, which I did quickly look up comps for this once I got home after I bought everything. And they're not quite as good as I thought. I thought I had heard people talk about it and maybe they have, but yeah, it doesn't resell for a ton, but it is pretty expensive retail and they are good quality. And this is actually my dad's size. So I will offer this to him first, but if he doesn't want it, absolutely gonna still list it. I'll probably list it for like 28 and hope to get between 20 and 25 for it. But it is just a really nice, basic button down short sleeve shirt. All right, here are some corduroy pants from Levi's. They are the Demi Curve Classic Rise Slim Leg and I definitely got these because they are a size 33. And I also do sell corduroys pretty well as we uh, get nearer to the fall season. I'm sure these will sit for a little bit. But yeah, I do sell quite a lot of corduroy pants, especially when they are in a good size like this 33. And I like that this is colorful, but they're not like too in your face colorful, just a really good fall kind of maroon. I really like this sweater. This is from Victoria's Secret, size large. Really pretty pastel pink. This is one of my favorite colors to wear. So I might be borrowing this, but I'll absolutely list it first. Really, really comfortable. And the back is what makes it. So it has that like twisted knotted style back, 
super cute, I think. Okay, this I just could not leave behind. I'm definitely going to offer it to my little niece, Scarlett, who is three and a half, but quite tall for her age. This is vintage from, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's from the Smithsonian Institute. It's perfectly worn in, so, so comfy. And it's got, of course, all these space images on both the front and the back. And one of the last times that I saw a little Scarlet, she was wearing one of her uncle's old t-shirts and it was so cute on her. So maybe she'll like this one as well. These are not too exciting, but I absolutely picked them up because they are new with tags. And these are from a Stitch Fix brand, which I do pretty well with. And they are a size 29. So you can see they've got the Stitch Fix tag still attached. And what's nice about these tags is they put all the information on them. So I'll just put this right into my Poshmark and I'll also be able to find a stock photo quite easily. So it says Ellie Skinny High Rise Utility Pocket Pant in Navy size eight. So that's a very good example of the kind of title you should put in your Poshmark listings. Skinny, not the best, but it is a 10 inch high rise. And I think this is just a really nice classic pant that you could absolutely wear into the office or you could dress it down. So I would not have probably picked these up if they were not new with tags, but I saw the tag and I thought, why not? These are some Columbia pants. They are men's 38 waist and 30 length. And these just show how uh, you need to double check your items. I did spend a while actually looking at these pants at the bins. I'm looking for stains. I'm looking to make sure the zipper works. And yet I failed to realize that the button is not there. So I don't know. I'm not the best at checking my items. And especially I feel like when I'm in a location like the bins where everything is pretty cheap, I don't check as well as I should. So I might just go ahead and list these as is. One of you guys mentioned during one of my last videos when I was probably talking about missing a button that I should have a little box of buttons, which would be very intelligent and I do need to get one of those. Okay, this little top is just from Loft, which I don't often pick up, but I do pick up items based on style a lot, especially if it's really pretty bohemian embroidered kind of style. So there's that loft tag, nothing too special. It's a size small, but I think that this top was just so adorable. Really nice detail, got that embroidery there. And then I like the sleeve detail as well. I saw this kind of buried under a bunch of stuff, of course. And I was like, Johnny was, Johnny was. Cause I was really hoping I would just find like one really expensive piece to kind of make the whole trip worth it. And I did find that piece. I'm just keeping it plug for you guys to stay until the end. But yeah, I ended up finding just a ton of great little sellable items, I think. I watch some people's bins hauls and it's like luxury item after luxury item. And I don't know where these people live that they're like finding all these luxury items at the bins. But something you also have to remember is for a lot of people here on YouTube, their bins hauls or just their thrift hauls in general are collective from perhaps weeks, hours and hours and hours at the thrift stores. So try not to compare too much. This is me, two hours at the bins, but a lot of it is very bread and butter kind of pieces. But that's honestly what I like to sell. But okay, here's another untuck it piece. So I found that short sleeve button down that I am gonna offer to my dad. But I am for sure gonna list this one. I think it is really nice. It is a thick quarter zip and maybe there's a stain no i think we're good and it feels very coastal it feels like a great one that you could just kind of throw over your swimsuit or throw over your shorts in the summertime so i really like this piece and i think that this one will do okay it probably did retail for over a hundred dollars so I'll probably list this for like 35 and just see how it does. I guess the good thing about the bins too is I always seem to come home with a lot more men's pieces than I do <laughs> when I go to the regular thrift stores. Here we've got a nice 100% wool blazer. And I don't love to pick up blazers because they do tend to sit for a while, but then they will kind of sell out of nowhere. And this one was just too high quality. It's in perfect condition. I'm at the bins. I didn't want to leave it behind. So this is from the brand Kenneth Cole, New York, and it is a size 46 regular. As I said, it is 100% wool, and I do not think that this was ever worn, honestly. And it is a nice print. It's a really nice color scheme. Here's another blanket for myself in my home, and this one is actually for 
my puppies. So I could not find a brand anywhere on here, but this is definitely, you know, like a blanket maybe made for the backseat of your car or to throw in a crate or something like that. And my dogs do love to cozy up with blankets, but blankets can be expensive. And something like this, I mean, this was probably $50 wherever it was sold. And it's got a little bit of wear, but it smells perfectly fine. Actually smells really good. One of the best smelling things in the whole haul. So the puppy boys are going to get a new blanket for their crate. And I said to my husband, maybe we'll just get them a new one every time we go because they stink up the blankets so quickly. And then you just like cannot get that smell out, I swear. All right, we're nearing the end guys. Thanks for sticking with me. This is Beach Lunch Lounge. And I have recently been saying actually that I don't really pick up this brand anymore because even though it seems to move well for other people and I hope it does move well for you if you are a reseller, it just doesn't seem to move for me. But this is a good size. It's a size extra large. And I think that this is a super cute blouse. It would definitely carry you into fall with the nice colors. Very bohemian. There's like some buttons up the front. And it is in great shape and so, so lightweight. So I was definitely willing to give this one a try. Here's one I got likely for myself. It is American Eagles, soft and sexy. Just a nice little button up cardigan. So, so soft. And I do like the look a lot of wearing button up cardigans like as your shirt. I think that this one would look really cute with just like some black high waisted jeans and some booties in the fall. It does need a bit of a sweater shave, but other than that, good shape, and I am always looking for very comfortable pieces. All right, I forgot Ryan did find these pants as well, and I think that these should do okay. So this is Melissa McCarthy in collaboration with Seven. Is it seven seven or just seven? I don't know. It's seven written out and then the number, but these are size 22W. And just such a cute little flowy, bohemian, floral, lightweight pant for the spring and summer season. And I have heard that Melissa McCarthy, Melissa McCarthy in collaboration with other brands, does sell pretty well. And of course, I do always love to pick up really cute plus size pieces that are in great condition when I can. Here's the other Fabletics piece I mentioned a while ago. Really cute sports bra. It does connect in the front size large, and overall in great shape. And Fabletics, I find, I mean, it doesn't sell for a whole heck of a lot, but it does seem to sell. I get a lot of Fabletics pieces in like my thread up 100 pound, 200 pound, 50 pound boxes, because a lot of the time the tags have been ripped out, but that's not a big deal. I don't think you just have to measure and you can figure the size out pretty quickly, but especially at a place like the bins, things like bras and nightgowns, things like that, they're so lightweight. They really are a good pickup option, even if you can only flip them for like 15 to $20. Okay, this is another bra and I meant to look this up and then it just got buried in my cart but hopefully it'll still do okay just because it is new with tags and it is a good size and a size large. Really pretty blue color as well. And I like that it is a little bit longer line. So this is from a brand called Jezer, J-E-Z-E-R. It says Christian active wear. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, size large. So I'll have to look into this to see if this is a brand that people know or if it's just really, really random. I certainly wouldn't mind keeping this one if it turns out to be absolutely nothing. But yeah, I just saw a new piece in a bag and I grabbed it. This one I think will be so cool for someone styled up. It will for sure go on my Depop. This is a vintage piece from this brand called Forenza. It says it's a size six and that does seem pretty accurate, but it is this denim vest. I feel like I see models wearing things like this all the time with like some cool pants and they just look awesome. So I feel like somebody will be looking for something like this. And I like that sweet little collar too a lot. Okay, last clothing piece and then two items for my home. And one of them is crazy. More vintage here. These are from Izod, just some really nice golf pants. I do like the pattern a lot, but this little patch here is what made me pick these up. I think that's really cool. And these are a size 40. Okay, I also totally forgot it was buried at the bottom of the bag, but I found this awesome vintage 100% leather fanny pack. I think this is so funky. It's in great shape. This will absolutely go up on my Depop as well as my Poshmark. So yeah, that was buried at the bottom of the bag. 
but I really, really love this find. And then the two home pieces that Ryan and I are keeping, he did find both of these. So <laughs> here we have Jesus and he has the Sacred Heart. And in my videos, if you see this necklace that I always wear, that actually is the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So that was kind of cool. We'll definitely put this in our home. And I don't know, I just feel like as a Christian, whenever I see religious images or just statues, things like that at the thrift store, I do always want to pick them up, even if I don't pick them up, because it just seems wrong to send things like this to the landfill. But I do love this gold frame as well. I do really love this image of Jesus. I think it's very nice. So it will definitely be put up in our home. Oh, and before <laughs> the awesome last piece, I forgot this was on the floor. I did also pick up this backpack to sell. Although now of course I'm like, ooh, do I actually want this because I don't have a backpack? But I don't really need a backpack. As you can see, there's a lot of gunk and stuff right there, but I feel like it's very surface. I think I'll just be able to scrub it off, no problem. Again, I just went to the bins today. I have not washed anything, haven't dealt with anything yet. But this is from the brand Herschel, which does do pretty well. Some of their comps are like 50 plus dollars. I'd be very happy to get like 30 for this, even 25. But aside from that mark on the front, it really is in perfect, perfect shape. Okay, and then the best piece of all, which Ryan found, all credit to him, I was over in the clothes and he was over more in the home decor section. And he found this gorgeous, gorgeous rug. I love it. I love the colors. I love the style. It's in fantastic condition. And I would be happy, you know, just like with a pretty rug like this. I'm not someone who cares too much about brands and things like that. But Ryan did look this rug up and it sells for over $1,500. <laughs> so absolutely ridiculous. It is a vintage rug. It was handmade in Persia, which doesn't even exist anymore. So that's kind of cool. So the brand is Basiron, B-A-S-I-R-A-N genuine oriental rugs so that is what the tag looks like just in case you ever come across this but just an absolutely beautiful rug even though i could sell it for a lot of money and ryan was like are you sure you don't want to sell the rug <laughs> i do want to keep it this is something i'll probably have forever i just love the colors i love the style and such a unique piece but all right everybody that was my very random goodwill outlet bins haul let me know what you think down below. Of course, the majority of the clothes are pretty bread and butter, but I think a lot of the vintage items especially will sell for $35 plus, some maybe even closer to $100, like that really cool Indian's jacket, and I will easily be able to make my $100 back, and I think I'll profit very nicely off of this bins haul, and it has certainly inspired me to go more often in the future. But if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.